Now, let's talk about conversations at work. And um, we spend a lot of time, okay, uh, our time at work, okay, and therefore we socially interact with our colleagues. So, ano yung mga dapat kinakailangan natin dito? We have to take note of the following things. Number one, excessive uh, social chit chat, office gossip, politics, and anything very personal should be avoided. So, say nothing, then there is nothing. So, um, lalo sa Pilipinas, no? Maraming um, sipsip, chismosa. So, anong ginagawa nila? Uh, yung, uh, kung ayaw nila yung mga katrabaho nila, sinisipsip sa kanilang boss. Okay? Or, uh, uh, they, they spread gossip. Okay? Namumuliti ka sila para lang sila ang umangat. So, that's not good enough para um, uh, para sa isang kumpanya. Right? So, uh, uh, better yet to avoid those things. Pangalawa, criticizing or reprimanding someone in front of others is hurtful and shows insensitivity. Rather, call the person aside and address any issues in private. Yan. Lalo, uh, again, going back sa Pilipinas, medyo nagtatanim tayo ng galit. Okay? Lalo na pag tayo ay pinagalitan in front of other people. At ngayon, minsan, pinagchichismisan na tayo. So, that's the problem. So, uh, kung uh, better yet, no? uh, kung gusto mong i-reprimand ang isang tao is to uh, do it in private. So, as not to embarrass them okay, with other people. Okay? Next one is you give praise when praise is due. Or kaya kung kinakailangan, hindi yung uh, talagang everyday na lang, eh, pinapraise mo, hindi na bata. No? We're no longer children para doon. No? Now, uh, don't discuss your personal affairs at work. If you need help, go to an appropriate pro uh, professional like a counselor, doctor, or others. Na, uh, ano. Pero uh, minsan, if we do have good uh, close friends, okay, we can discuss things, but then it's not uh, appropriate naman kung dinidiscuss ito during office hours. So this could be discussed after, okay, after work, okay? Or uh, sabi nga dito, if you need help, okay, consult a professional kung kinakailangan. Right? Now, avoid sexist or racist jokes, okay? Especially in large organization with a diverse workforce. Yes, kasi um sobra, uh, when it comes to discrimination, talagang isa ito sa mga dahilan kung bakit bumabagsak ang inang, isang kumpanya. Lahat ng mga tao, uh, workers na lang nag-aaway because of uh, racism okay? or um, sexist jokes na hindi naman dapat uh, sinasabi. No? Next one is to avoid asking personal questions and do not feel obliged to answer personal questions. Yan, kung ayaw mo talaga mag-share sa mga um, katrabaho mo ng uh, personal issues mo, wag. Okay? At huwag ka din magtanong ng personal issues kung uh, uh, kinakailangan. Kasi hindi naman, hindi naman um, appropriate to ask personal questions na minsan masasaktan ang isang katrabaho. Alright? Now, don't shout to get someone's attention. Okay? It, uh, it reflects laziness and disrespect for the person you are calling and other around you. Yun. Okay? Minsan, uh, merong mga taong ganito, no? But uh, take note na wala tayo sa probinsya na kailangan mong sumigaw para marinig ka. Alright? So, uh, remember that we are uh, talking about office here. No? Nasa opisina ka and you have to uh, remember na pag sikaw ay parang isang uh, disrespect uh, way of uh, calling someone. No? And uh, don't converse in front of others in a language they don't understand. Alright, ito din. Uh, in the Philippines, we are a multicultural uh, country and uh, mul multilingual din tayo. So, uh, um, it's quite offending when um, some people or some uh, colleagues are talking in their own language tapos ikaw hindi mo naiintindihan. As um, for my experience, no? uh, nung trabaho ko as a call center agent noon, uh, I have friends na from the south. Na they are talking uh, parang wala lang ako doon na uh, kasama nila 
so it's quite uh, up, uh, up inappropriate to do ways like that okay and um, make sure that anything shared with you in confidence whether work related or personal stays that way okay you keep it that way wag mo nang ipagkalat pa right kahit kating kating na yung bunganga mo para ilabas yan hindi it's not a good way to uh, do so right and um, avoid losing temper at work or becoming aggressive okay uh, because um, this shows that you have a very poor okay, emotional intelligence and it's not professional to do that right? now always say please and thank you bata pa lang tayo tinuro na ito and uh, try to learn the terms in all 11 official languages bakit uh, important ito kasi nga um, in the future in the near future we'd be dealing with different people from the uh, from the different um, countries no? so uh, by just saying thank you and uh, please in their uh, own language would uh, give them a, a happy smile no? now um what about introducing someone okay so um when making an introduction okay remember that in business uh, age and gen uh, in business okay um age and gender play no role okay pero ang rank at uh, authority ay my role dito right so um, the rule is that people of lesser authority are introduced to people with greater uh, authority. That's always the case. Kung mas mababa ang position mo, uh, usually ikaw yung ini-introduce sa mas mataas ang position. Alright. Now, um, add minor background information to the introduction. Okay, mga pahapyaw, okay? As this is a good uh, starting point of conversation for the two people who have just met. At kung... Um, Okay na, sila nag-uusap, then hayaan mo na sila um, mag-uusap. You can excuse yourself already. Alright? And um, no matter the seniority, okay, status or gender, a person seated should always stand up when being introduced. Okay? Um, that's very uh, common sa Pilipinas. No? Kung uh, ini-introduce ka, tumayo ka. O kahit ikaw pa yung presidente ng Pilipinas. Okay? And uh, next one, although the person to whom one is being introduced usually extends their hand first, often both parties will extend hands at the same time uh, when it comes to handshakes. No? Now, if you are the host to a function, okay, make sure you welcome all your guests personally. Okay? And um, if it is a function of high authority, can the host uh, can appoint uh, someone who will uh, greet them and uh, when introducing someone to a group of male and female peers at work with no distinct seniority or importance uh, just make the introduction um, more general and informal like um, hi team I would like to uh, I'd like you to meet uh, uh, this person and that right? and uh, what about the getting the names right? Right. So, um, the most important thing here is to listen very carefully when being introduced and try to memorize the name of the person you're being introduced to. Okay, para kung mamaya mag-uusap kayo or later uh, part of your life na mag meet kayo, at least um, kilala mo. Alright? And um, use the first available opportunity to use... Um, the person's name in conversation okay. and um, if someone is uh, if someone introducing you mispronounces your name and or gives you the wrong title okay wait until the introductions are over and correct it properly uh, actually ang pangalan ko eh mukhang nagkamali uh, si ano nag-introduce sa akin uh, ako si ano uh, this is the right pronunciation of my name and the like right now what about handshakes? Okay. These are very important things as well. Always shake hands with your right hand. Okay. Kahit kaliwete ka. 
dapat kanan as um, it is very um, common in all countries okay majority of countries uh, use their right hand right and um, handshake should be brief and accompanied by a smile okay look at the person directly in the eye and use such words as um, how do you do okay. and pleased to meet you and those are these are just basics pero minsan nakakalimutan natin no? so um, another way uh, another one is do not squeeze another person's hands as this may uh, cause discomfort uh, if the one person is wearing sharp jewelry okay uh, yung sakto lang. Alright? Uh, huwag mo namang uh, piliting talagang squeeze yung kamay kasi masakit yan. Alright? Now, uh, some Indian or Malay, Muslim, or Jewish people may not offer um, handshakes due to religious beliefs. Okay? So, uh, simple yung pag lang at pag-smile, uh, okay na yun. Alright? And um, do not offer a wet or a dirty hand. Nakakahiya naman. Right, so uh, make sure na okay ang iyong mga kamay and um, makipag-shake hand. Alright, the next one is our uh, topic on romantic interaction. Alright, so um, office or romance okay, is fairly common these days as the office is where we spend so much of our time. So uh, handled well, it can lead to a relationship. Okay, but handled badly it can lead to a lawsuit or, or a lawsuit for harassment. So what are the things that we should consider? Number one, there is being discreet, right? Be discreet enough. Okay, with social networking sites and TV rea uh, reality shows encouraging us to let the uh, world into our most private moments. Okay, discretion may be a dying art. Okay, when it comes to um, Workplace romance, it is much better to keep your relationship private than it is to um, flaunt it. Right? So this doesn't mean you should lie about it. Okay? Just don't put it out there uh, for everyone to watch unfold. Right? Pangalawa is to set rules and have an exit plan. So anong uh, sinasabi dito? So make sure uh, you and your partner are on the same page. Okay? Decide when... Um, how you uh, will proceed with your relationship as far as the office is concerned. So also figure out how you will um, handle it if your relationship doesn't uh, succeed. Right? Kung hindi manggagana, then uh, at least there are a ways on how to uh, get out of it. Pangatlo is uh, be honest. Honesty is always, sabi nila, the best policy. Honesty, uh, honesty is, of course, important in any relationship. But this honesty can add to the bitterness that often companies and uh, uh, the end of romance. Okay, so often accompanies the end of romance. So, so you don't want to end um, on bad terms, particularly because you will have to see each other regularly. And the uh, next one is don't let your feelings get in uh, the way of your job. And um, this may take quite a bit of effort. But if your uh, feelings for your partner influence how you do your job, okay, you may find yourself looking for a new job. Okay? Um, kasi medyo mahirap din kung, talagang, uh, kung yung trabaho mo ay talagang um, mas inuuna mo ang iyong partner, okay? ang iyong emotion uh, towards your partner, and you're no longer productive, and that's not a good one. Better yet, maghanap ka ng ibang trabaho mo uh, para hindi maapektuhan. Okay. And lastly, stay within the law. Right? Sexual harassment suits are unpleasant for everyone invo uh, involved. So be aware of what uh, constitutes sexual harassment and avoid doing anything that can invite those accusations. Right? So, mahirap na. And uh, let's talk about sexual harassment. Okay. Uh, sexual harassment, um, madami ang nangyari when, uh, sa workplace, no? Uh, madaming nakakasuhan uh, of sexual harassment kasi hindi nila um, tinitingnan kung ano yung mga uh, ito. Alright? So, sexual harassment can consist of unwelcome uh, sexual advances. So, ano yung mga sexual advances, uh, uh, unwelcome sexual advances na ito? 
uh, mga simpleng um, pag uh, tapit ng puwet okay those are considered um, uh, harassments no and um, request for sexual favors in return uh, for employment benefits <coughs> excuse me ito yung mga uh, kunwari um, let's have an, uh, an affair then I'll, I, I will promote you okay and that's um, uh, harassment already sexual harassment na uh, hindi ka nagko-consent no? but then uh, they're offering you for favors na um, they're requesting for sexual uh, favors para lang uh, tumaas ang sahod mo or ma-promote ka no? and uh, nextly pressure for sexual uh, sexual favors to clinch uh, sa uh, sales deals yun okay so bibilhin ko ang um, pinabenta mong bahay but then uh, we had to do something in return okay sexual favors next is the display of sexually offensive posters cartoons or drawings or any forms of verbal or physical behavior that the recipient regards as unwelcome or embarrassing so um sa simpleng pag drawing lang okay poster uh, tungkol sa isang uh, victim no those are considered harassments no? now um how to deal with that no? so use these following gu uh, guidelines to deal with potential sexual harassment so if uh, any member of a staff flirts with you okay acts aggressively or harasses you in any sexual way and this action is intentional and unwelcome then this uh, amounts of uh, this amounts to sexual harassment so again the keyword here is the unwelcome of the sexual advances of the um, other person no? so be assertive and confront the person without being rude okay uh, pagsabihan mo okay but then uh, when uh, pag paulit-ulit na all right then that's the time wherein you can report the matter to your supervisor or the human resource manager kung ang oppressor mo ay yung supervisor go to the uh, human resource manager or the hr department all right so uh, that ends our discussion for today and um, i will be discussing more as we go on with our discussion thank you and have a good day